Okay, so this is part two of the wig install. We left off on how to clean the lace. Now this is how to um, start off with a clean canvas so that your hairline doesn't have any hairs in the way for when you glue your wig down. So I just start off with some mousse and then I brush all the hairs back. And then if I feel the need, I will apply more mousse and then I brush it back. But I'm doing it like a sweeping motion. Like as if I was using a broom, I brush it back and then I like sweep it back, sweep it back. And I just keep repeating that step until I feel that I've done it enough. Until the hairs feel neat to me. So everything you're going to see in this video is customizable to your liking. But now I'm just hot combing the hairs to the back so everything can be slicked back. And as you guys can see, I'm using a hot comb. I'm using the teeth of the hot comb, but I'm turning it while I'm using it like that. Because I learned from TikTok, shout out to TikTok, that the teeth don't straighten the hair. They, they are just to like get the kinks out. But what really makes the hair flat is the thick base of the comb, if that makes sense. And now I'm using some wax. So... After I do the mousse and I hot comb it towards the back, I, or press it, I use wax to lay the hair even flatter. Then I go back over it, like you see, with the hot comb and then more mousse. And it's just really repeating these steps until you feel like you got it. Now, this is what works for me. This is my way of doing things. You might not feel the need to do all these things or do it over and over how I'm doing it, but this is my way. So whatever works for you, you can try this way or you can like customize it to your liking or whatever. But now I'm going back over it again with the hot comb just because this is a used wig also. So I have already pre-plucked baby hairs and pre-cut baby hairs that need to lay down and drop a comment let me know what do you guys think of this method if you use this method make sure to let me know do you use this method does it work for you let me know in the comments y'all y'all be acting like y'all scared to talk to me or something like I see y'all subscribe, talk, like let's chat y'all. <laughs> so now you see why I'm putting the mousse, everything. I was training the hair at first. Now the hair is, is pretty trained and I'm going back over it to do it again. But the key to this is you wanna make sure you let the mousse like get a little bit dry before you start to install it so that it can be like out your way for sure like you'll know that the hairs won't really come towards the front or you won't have flyaways like that so this is just a close-up of me showing you guys how to use the hot comb properly shout out to tiktok because i didn't really know that at first and also i think these different angles make the video look much better so yeah, y'all can just watch, um, just watch the rest of the video and I'll show you the results of how the wig came out. Also, the different angles make the video more interesting to me. So I'm sure from the viewer's perspective, y'all perspective, it's a little bit more interesting when I get different angles. You see, that is how you get the wig flat. I'm going back in with the wax stick. Now this video is for beginners who want to make sure their install is as clean as possible because I be having trouble sometimes when I'm installing the wig and the hairs, I have a lot of flyaways on the hairline. So I just started doing this and then i combined all these steps i was doing the steps but then i ended up combining them and i like 
to do it. Like, it, it works for me and I like it. So, that's why I started doing this. So, hopefully this will help the beginners with y'all wig and stuff. And what this does is it just makes for a smoother, cleaner, neater wig and stuff. Like, your hairline will be much more neat if you make sure that all the hairs are tanned and going towards the back they're out of your way so it has no choice but to be me and also it makes it easier for me and for you as a beginner to achieve a neater install achieve a neater hairline especially if it is a used wig this will help you achieve a neater hairline but also if you don't want to do any baby hairs then you have to make sure you mold all the hairs back so that you can put the lace exactly where it needs to go and if you would like to see the next part of this wig install which is how to do the baby hairs i'll have that linked in the description and also it should be popping up in the time card right about now on the right hand side and if you would like to see the full wig install i have a video on that also so make sure to check the description box and go check out those other videos on how to install a used wig very beginner friendly and let me know what other type of content you would like to see from me and until next time bye let's rock